Hi guys, and today is a very special day because I'm finally bringing you the review I wanted to do since I first got it, but unfortunately I was ill, so anyway, enough about that. This will be the most anticipated review for me to do for this channel, so I'm definitely, 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 definitely going to make it a very, very good one. So anyway, as you can see by the cracked bat, it can only mean one thing, and of course it is the... Batman DX12 from The Dark Knight Rises definitely definitely beautiful beautiful box <laughs> it's a beautiful box and yes Mr. Ween it does come in black or in this case it's kind of a graphite greyish but this box is different because it's kind of like a kind of a slaty feel to it that's the only way I can really describe to you what it looks like so anyway you guys have seen this box probably a hundred times and I won't be spending too much time on it but for the review purposes I will anyway right so there's the front the crack uh, continues uh, look around the box again Batman very um, shady Money is a shady figure, right? So there's the side, a lovely uh, crack, <laughs> lovely crack, right? Turn it around, you get the usual DX, and of course, Hot Toys, and all of the um, well, like all of the usual things you usually get warning, choking hazard, adult collectible, not a toy, recommended for ages 15 and up. 15 only depends if you're serious about this stuff <laughs> so anyway there's the other side the other side boom 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 right let's have a look in the box light down the flap is so much better on this one magnetized but it does ooh right so let me stand up for this bit. So that opens, of course, two magnets, and you're greeted with this. It's the chalk bat, <laughs> the chalk bat. And then, of course, down here you have Batman one sixth scale collectible figure. Ew. Even though I don't know why they, um, why there was no sort of kind of short a short um, what do you call it biography but you all know who who he is well I'd hope you know but anyway <clears throat> chalk bat oh yeah chalk bat then of course you get the flap <laughs> yeah I'm gonna try to do this as serious as I can without laughing Right, move everything to the side, and of course, usually that'd be stuck in, but for some reason, it fell out. But yeah, it's just a um, blueprint for the bat. Uh, now, I actually know Hot Toys cancelled this, but they're apparently redoing it again. But yeah, it's a nice, uh, nice. It's a nice addition to have, even if it is just a blueprint, but yeah, it looks sweet. Right, put that down. And of course, the the um, flap, that's where the, um, the blueprint was. Of course, it's got rise. You don't need anything more than that. <laughs> well, I'd hope not. Right, and as you can see, everything is out of the box. So here's where the figure would be. Interchangeable face number two and interchangeable face three. Uh, Batman head with interchangeable face one. Features parallel eyeball rolling system, also known as PERS. Patent. Uh, yeah. 
Peyton Bar Hot Toys Limited Translucent Iris Authentic Lightness of Christian Bale as Batman and of course in here you get the Bruce Wayne head and that is a it is a interchangeable head sculpt features authentic lightness of Christian Bale as Bruce Wayne detailed paint applications and yes it does it is a very very detailed uh, head sculpt I think it is one of the best ones of Bruce Wayne so far and of course you have the DX12 Batman body <laughs> it comes with a body what features Batman body with over 32 points of articulation newly developed complex bat suit featuring fabric costume covered with armor artists of course there done a banging job guys <laughs> I'll take it that now right a newly developed utility belt with detailed paint applications and then of course there's um, this first layer then of course you have the second layer that's got the cape and everything else in it the stand and everything else so anyway I don't really want to spend too much time on the box so put that away yeah yeah put it away <laughs> after this is finished it shall be going up in the loft where all of the other figure boxes are so then hopefully I shouldn't have to worry. Right, let's set this back up. Do 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 do. Right. Very nice. Very very nice indeed, Mr. Wayne. Righty right. <clears throat> let's sit down and park me butt. Right. So as you can see, all of these stuff is there. Even though I did have it nicely set up, but the uh, box uh, flap knocked it over for me. So thank you very much, box. I do appreciate your help in this uh, very detailed review. Right, give me a second, guys. <sighs> Honestly, try to get everything nicely set up for a review, and then a box comes and uh, destroys it all. Right, <clears throat> that's pretty much what I had previously. Hang on, let's move closer. Right, so anyway. Now, the reason why I've set it up like this is for two reasons. The first being that usually when I try and do a figure review, that's usually the figures here. Then of course you're shining outside, well you're filming outside and then it gets all the light and everything and then it gets really blurry. But uh, seeing as I've upgraded to a new camera, I, well I did try something like that and I just thought nah, just let's go for something new um, and let's try it like that. But I think it's turned out quite well because there's no blurriness, even though I was um, trying to find some some type of black fabric then it only get the detail on the figure itself so yeah but anyway right <clears throat> let's get into it and this will be a one take uh, video as uh, like all of the revisited figures I will be doing they will all be one views um, one video um, not like a three-parter how I used to do them. The first impressions was is I opened the box and oh my god I was blown away. This figure is definitely amazing. <clears throat> the things, just the things you can get this guy to do, the poses, just the suit like all round. It is really really nice and it is an improved version of the uh, Batman DX02 even though since then they've obviously uh, thought hang on a minute there were these issues with it there was that wrong with it there was this and everything else and they've they've definitely uh, cracked it out especially on this one um, 
yeah, they've just redone everything definitely to the best that they could. And I honestly do think that they have really pulled it out of the hat, even though the quarter scale hot toys, Dark Knight Rises, will probably be very wowzer roonies. <laughs> wowzer roonies. But uh, yeah, uh, like any time will tell. But anyway, right. The head sculpt, of course, you do know is, of course, Christian Bale. Anybody who tells me that is not Christian Bale, you seriously, you serious, that you seriously need to go get your eyes tested because this is just absolutely awesome. They've whacked it out, indeedly. Yeah, they've really outdone themselves here. So. The eyes as well, the purse system. Let's get a bit closer. I'll wait for it to focus. Right, as you can see, the head sculpt. Well, the faceplate, sorry. Definitely amazing work. Um, oops. Right, wait for it to focus. Right, there we go. Try get in with the eyes, so you guys can see. I'm kind of going on about yeah definitely amazing yeah and of course go down the body or should I say the suit check out that utility belt honestly that utility belt is pure gold <laughs> even though it's not but the reason why I say that is the plates or each like individual compartment that's on this belt it is a separate piece even though I was having a, f a fiddle with it and one bit did uh, unfortunately fall off but it's back on there now that was uh, near the back but yeah uh, definitely a um, a great utility belt righty who of course the base too that that's just amazing and I, and I don't have any lights with that right so turn it around oh hang on a minute let's stand him up straight yeah that's straightish I suppose <laughs> right let's have a side profile of him zoom in a little bit Right then, time to have a look at what this uh, bad boy brings, and even though I said I'd get his cape on, unfortunately something's gone wrong with the cape, and yeah, it's just gone wrong, um, a piece of the rod or wire has uh, come out, so unfortunately on this re review I will not be using the cape, but I'll try my best anyway. I might use the uh, DXO2 cap actually just for this review. But with that being said, uh, seeing as unfortunately I can't do the cape, um, then I'll just have to do some type of video that I was planning on doing um, at the end of this. But that will be coming in the next few days. But anyway. Uh, rolling on to the accessories, uh, of course you get the three face plates. Let's have a zoom in. See what we can get. Uh, hang on. Right, there's face plate number one. Look how good they've done it. They've even got his the marks on his face. Uh, some spots, some beauty spots, even the small one boy's lips yeah very very good right hmm <laughs> I like that so anyway moving on to the accessories and to be honest you do get quite a bit but like it depends on how you see this uh, the reason why I say that is because even though it is an absolute awesome figure at that of course it is, it is Batman <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, so starting off with the face plates. I'm gonna do this as best I can. 
you've got his um, kind of normal face, also known as a very, very relaxed face. Um, I'll do a pose with each of these in, by the way. Right, where are you? Then, of course, you've got his kind of grr look. Even though some people moaned about this, but if you get him in the right pose, and then it is definitely more than effective. Uh, those are just the um, the shell cases for those. Uh, next up is the Christian Bale head sculpt. Look at that, Batman, Christian Bale, Bruce Wayne through and through. Let's get a, see how close I can get. Okay, hang on. Back up a bit, y'all. Yeah, but that is just amazing. Really, that is just amazing. Right, let's have a look. I am zooming in very slowly to see how far I can get in. Okay, good enough. Yeah, but look at that, man. You cannot turn mine as out as Christian Bale. See the hair, how it's well gelled back. He's got a few bits of grey. Look at the eyes. The um, yeah, definitely done an amazing job on this. Look, you can see small little stubble. <laughs> yeah, but this, wow. Definitely the best Christian Bale head sculpt. And look, they've even got his um, mole, I think it's called. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, but look, from that angle, Christian Bale. From a front on angle, Christian Bale. That angle, yeah, of course, well, <laughs> yeah, what I was going to say. But anyway, <clears throat> pop that down. Okay, let's put it there. Right, next up is this little thing you do need. Um, I forgot the proper name of it, but I think it's... Oh, tell you what, let's just call it a tool, <laughs> because obviously that's what it is and it's there to do a job and it does its purpose this is to move the face plates or to take out the face plates from the cowl I'll show you how to do that in a minute even though it's not really uh, really an accessory but right next up is the the uh, gun the sticky bomb gun yeah Right, there we go. Let's just uh, put something back in place. Yep. Um, I don't know why they included this because this is not from the Dark Knight Rises. It's, um, well, of course, this was used in the Dark Knight on the uh, Hong Kong jump scene. But, yeah, I don't know why they included this, but for people who didn't... Uh, who didn't get on the original Batman DXO2 then it's a nice little addition to have so anyway next up is of course his famous grapple gun or grapnel gun uh, but this time round he um, it's got a little um, oh shit what do you call it um, a a reload type of system the, the name's just gone out of my head <laughs> yeah that's re really nice to have right next up two batarangs two smoke grenades um, this is for the to put the the good old EMP gun on the bat pod that's if you do have it unfortunately I don't and how things are probably looking, I may be getting it, I may not, but that's due down to space. So anyway, next up is you have sets of hands. Well, not really a set, but a kind of open one. Um, that's for the batarangs. Uh, that's for his 
gun, I believe, could be wrong. And that's a course for his gun as well, or his uh, smoke grenade. Right. I'm saving this gun to last, man. It's absolutely awesome. Right. Next up is his utility belt that he was wearing. Definitely an improvement from the last one. Um, they've changed the colour to this, so it's got more of a shimmering gold uh, tone to it. It's really nice. And to take it off, all you need to do is, of course, see the uh, small clips. I can't do it one-handed. Yeah, but there you go, you see it coming out already. I won't be doing that. Right. Uh, smoke grenades, batarangs. Ah. Here comes the beauty of the butte. His EMP gun, even though he only used it a few times in the movie, but still, when he actually used it, it was badass. <laughs> um, yeah, definitely. Hot Toys, you've killed this. Honestly, it's amazing. And it also has a small light up feature, which the switch is there. Hang on a minute, let's turn it on. There we are. Hang on a second, let's try to get somewhere dark. They are all beautifully lit up as well, so that's a plus. Indeed, a plus. <laughs> Yeah, but it's a nice little addition to have. Oh, turn it off. Hang on a moment. Oops. Right. So there are all the accessories. You've got three heads, um, uh, head plates in total. You have his utility belt. No, two uh, utility belts actually. Um, one, two, three, six hands. Uh, two smoke grenades, a spare set of hand pegs. They are a c collector's best friend. Definitely uh, two batarangs. His EMP gun, his grapnel grapple gun, and of course the sticky bomb gun. And I know that's a bit. Uh... Hang on a second. There we go. Right, cool. <laughs> right, that's done now. Bit late, mine, but yeah, so. Oh, and of course the Christian Bell head sculpt as well. That is absolutely blown, magnetized out of this world. Um, right, let's talk about the stand for a sec. <clears throat> right, let's put it closer. Right, this stand is definitely the best stand I've ever seen. <laughs> and that is not a like understatement in the slightest. Because, well, of course it's Batman. <laughs> it's Batman, you will love it. But anyway... The reason why I say this is, even though that's very original, uh, the the DXO One Joker had it. The DX figures you usually do have this, but the thing that blows me away on this is, of course, the snow. And of course, we do have some now. We've got some proper snow. So yeah, man. The snow on the steps, the uh, cracked bat, and that is engraved. Um, yeah, it's just really well done. The detail on the stand, though. I'm going to see how close I can get. There we go, look at that. It's even cracked on the side, look. Yeah, definitely a very, very good stand. And of course, on the uh, the uh, steps to City Hall, I suppose. And it is a very nice feature, and it does do the figure justice. Even though it is nice, because usually a figure just comes with a black stand, but the figures, the special editions, or the uh, the course DX figures they do have a special stand and it is just nice to see some more detail on the stands so 
Yep. Oh look, it's even got little holes. That's a nice effect. Right. That's a stand out the way. And of course you have the cape. I tell you what, I will show you what's um even though it's not very professional I know, but right. Hang on. This, right, that side's perfectly fine to get in, but as soon as I had it, this side was a complete and it was annoying. Right, and I don't know like if you can see, don't focus on the bloody thing. Focus on the cape. Yeah, a small bit of the okay, two pieces of the rod or wiring has come out. So that's why I don't really intend on posing the figure with the cape in this review. I'll just do some video to it. Right guys, I'm gonna um I'm gonna kind of well try and show you how to uh, do the pose system and of course take out the face plates and put them back in. So you grab this little tool here. Let's place it down somewhere. Tell you what, let's place it on the stand. So I can see what I'm doing, at least. Right. <clears throat> Get it in focus this time. Because <laughs> I did it previously and it didn't work out. Right. So, there is the um, head. Of course, there's the eyes. Right. You have two bits here. Come on camera, focus on me, not my kitchen. Okay, let's move it. Alright. You've got two bits here. You've got a kind of a spoony type one. And you've got that bit. Right, to take off the face plate, all you need to do, as you see, there's the bit for the mouthpiece. And inside, I don't know if you can see, but there's a joystick right at the end there. So to take out the face plate, all you need to do is you need to do that. Then it comes out, and you have a face plate. So put that down. Then of course, to there you go. Mr. Wayne has no mouth. <laughs> Mr. Wayne has no mouth. Let's move it because I don't want it focusing on everything else. There we go. Right. So sorry. So again because it was blurry um, there's a hole for the face plate and of course when it's in all you need to do is you need to pop it out when it comes out then down the down towards the top of the cowl you have a joystick that uh, like all of the purse systems have so you take that bit put it on the end then you move Hang on, then you move the eyes. Hang on, that was bad. This is starting to get very, very stiff. I don't know why. A minute. Let me try to find it while keeping it in. Yeah, look, see? Hang on a minute, I need to grab it. This is being a pain in the backside today. It's usually not that bad. Right, here we go. See, and it moves. And you got a kind of a light no, gone. There we go. Mint. Right. So there's the face plates. I'll just show you all three. All right. Pop it in. Hang on a minute. All right. There we go. Let's have it real quick with this because it's coming up to. 30 something minutes and I don't want it to be that long because it will take the mic to upload and it will be in 1080p right there's a second here we go awesome then for the final one <coughs> You of course have that one.
Right, so the first pose I've kind of gone for is a fighting pose. Just a, um, just a smirk your mouth, just to start things off. A second, let's move this round. Because I seem to have got a better... There we go. Right, all to do with light. Now if I turn that around, there we go. Right, <clears throat> as you can kind of see, I've gone for a type of fighting pose, ready for action, just nothing too dramatic yet. Definitely awesome. The second pose is nothing, well, yeah, I haven't really changed it as much, but what I'm trying to tell you guys is, is that even though you don't have to change the pose that much to get a certain effect, but look, that's the kind of angry uh, facial expression. Two fists ready to kick some butt. And of course, still on the stand. Right, I haven't changed the head plate over. I just wanted a kind of a, what's the word? Kind of a ready for action pose, but he's uh, he's got his stuff ready to kick some butt. So the grapnel gun in hand. Looking uh, very thoughtful, <laughs> definitely. Then, of course, a batarang in the right hand. Right, guys, this will be the last pose because, well, this will be long enough. But anyway, the Christian Bale head sculpt, definitely amazing. Let's try to get him from over here. There we go. Right, he has his cowl in hand, and yes, this is the original head that was on the figure. All I've done is I've uh, took the faceplate out and I've kind of angled it, so from that, should I say, then it looks like a cowl. And I do think that that is, that is a wicked pose, definitely, and I think I may keep him in this one afterwards. So anyway, uh, the articulation, uh, look on this figure compared to the original Batman DXO2 is is amazing. You can pose him in probably any pose you want, but just keep in mind that the suit may what's the word? Um, it may show signs of wear, but try not to make it too very too dramatic. But yeah, uh, apart from that though, this figure is definitely one to have, definitely. I'm very chuffed with it, uh, really glad I've got it. And yes, I know the belt's probably a bit crooked, but yeah, but the stuff that this guy brings, I mean, it's all there. It is just amazing. So where did I get this guy from? I got this from a seller from eBay. He goes by the name of Chris, but you probably might know him as De Grey Man. And I will be putting a link to his shop and to this item on his eBay shop. And seriously, just go talk to him. Um, he is a very friendly guy and one who I shall be who I shall be sticking with for the uh, well for the future that's definitely for sure so thank you very much chris uh, i really do appreciate it sorry the review um sorry the review hasn't been put up till now but while well, i'm back in the game and get me back in the game yeah but guys seriously if you haven't got this figure or you or you're still on the fence about it seriously get it while the prices are still fair because probably like in a month's time now that Bane's out he will skyrocket just like the the original DxO2 did definitely so yeah guys uh, thank you very much for watching I'm sorry about the cape uh, uh, I didn't expect that to happen but because uh, that happened um, when I actually can well I sort the cape out later like but um, but like I wanted to get this out because I've been really anticipating like doing it and everything and now I have finally done it so but anyway um, but due to that I will do a special video uh, I've already got it planned in my head and most of it's done anyway 
so that'll be coming up in the next few days maybe a week's time so thank you for everyone that's watching uh, thank you to everybody that uh, sent me feedback on the two preview videos of this I hope you guys enjoyed the review and I know it is probably about 30 minutes long but I'll try and cut it down I'll see what I can do so anyway guys thank you so much for watching and thank you for all of the support you've shown me and this is this has been the first official Hot Toys review of 2013 and this year I shall show you a lot more Hot Toys based stuff so yep guys until next time I'll catch you later